Hi, I'm Melissa with Halo Creative Designs, and today I'm going to show you how I seal my mesh wreaths to minimize the fraying. As we all know, deco mesh, as you handle it and as you cut it, it starts to fray. There's nothing you can do to prevent that completely. It's always going to do it. It's just a matter of how or to what degree. Whoops. So to minimize this, what I use is a product called E6000. I do use this in other um, forms. It comes in a tube with the, uh, it's kind of gel-like, and I use it for other um, things that I craft with. But for sealing deco mesh to minimize the fraying, I use this pump. So we shake it really well, get it mixed up. And because this is non-aerosol, I can do this inside. You'll want to take your scissors and go ahead and trim all of the loose edges that you have. And when you're happy with your look, you're gonna stand about a foot away and you're going to mist this onto your wreath. And I do put down a garbage bag because I don't want to get it all over my table. This is an adhesive. Um, a very powerful adhesive. So this is what I do. I just go around and I give it a nice healthy coat. Make sure to focus on edges. The stuff does dry clear. So I don't have to be afraid of it ruining the look of my piece. All right, once you feel that you've got all your edges coated like you'd like it, then all you have to do now is let it dry. And I do let mine dry for about 24 hours before I handle them and start to build the rest of my wreath. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on how I seal the fraying ends of my mesh wreaths. And again, here's the product that I use, E6000. I think that's backwards for you, I apologize. But E6000 in the pump. This is what I seal my mesh wreaths with. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. We are on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy. We are also on Facebook where we do live tutorials. So on any of those platforms, you can go in the search bar and search Halo Creative Designs and we should pop up for you. We hope to see you on our other platforms, and again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.